Hi, my name is Maxim, and I'm the developer behind Woven Analytics. I'm also a host on Vast.ai. I developed Woven because I needed a bit more information than Vast provided through their data provider, 500 Farm. I wanted to know per GPU and per number of GPUs in a machine, what that data looked like. And I also wanted to know for machines like the one I was gonna build, what a history would look like in terms of utilization, uh, performance, reliability, et cetera. So though the data from 500 Farm was amazing and is amazing to start a POC for me, as I needed more data, I started coming up with use cases and I just ended up building an application myself. So let's start with the data we get from Vast and talk about the summaries of that data we create and how you can use the application to use those summaries to accomplish some of the common use cases like choosing a GPU, configuring your machine, setting a price, and then managing your price once listed. And once all those things are good, managing the operation of your rig in terms of your reliability and performance. So let's start with the data we get from Vast. We get offers, which are all the offers on a machine, machines, which is a list of all the machines, and the bids of offers that are rented as interruptible. So a machine can have multiple GPUs in it, and if a machine does have multiple GPUs, it can offer those GPUs as either one, two, four, etc. So if you had a four GPU machine, you could offer one GPU, one or two, or four, or any combination of thereof that fills your utilization for your machine. All right, so we get our data from 500 Farm, as I mentioned, and as that, we ingest that data every five minutes. First thing we have to do is we have to analyze what's actually rented, because 500 Farm doesn't actually tell us that data. Uh, Vast obfuscates that a little bit. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if that's just the way their uh, system works in terms of a differential between data sets, but we actually need to figure that out. So that's what we do on ingesting. And the first thing we do is we analyze uh, offers rented. Um, once we figure out uh, what offers are rented, we also keep track of rented prices. And we'll get into that a bit more later, but that's because when your offers come down from 500 Farm, it's your latest price, not necessarily your rented price for the current customer. All right, so once we've ingested the offers and machines and bids information from 500 Farm and from Vast using Cly, just for the bids, um, and we analyze what offers are rented, the first thing we do is we analyze, okay, for each GPU and number of those GPUs in an offer, we analyze, okay, what is the 90th, median, and 10th percentile of the uh, offer prices? What's the utilization? All the information you want to know for offers per GPU down to the number in a chassis, that's done in GPU utilization. We do the same for machine utilization. We break up every machine per type of GPU with the number of those GPUs in the machine and we give the different performance uh, of those machines in the marketplace. Pricing utilization as well. We also determine machine deltas. So when does a machine get verified? When does it enter the marketplace? How long is it unverified? And when is it finally verified? So you can use our system to check verification state and how long that takes for different number of GPUs again in a chassis. We also take a look at your machine's price efficiency. So we actually take every machine in VAST and we compare it against all like machines within 10% but only machines that have rented offers. So we check your machine's price performance against like machines price performance to see how you're doing. We then can suggest prices based on what people are renting machines at that you should list your machine at depending on your varying level of reliability and your verification state. And the last part is offer price correlations. So in uh, 
woven. You can actually choose for any machine configuration. It'll tell you what the rented offers are for that specific configuration across six key metrics. All right, so let's get going. Let me give you a demo now of the rest of the application. All right, here we go. So we actually start with, there you are, there I am. All right, so first let's just start with offer analytics. As you can see, you can break it up by any GPU VAST has, 3090, 4090, et cetera. In our case, let's use the 4090 that we had before. It can show you by number of GPUs in a chassis. So one, let's say four, and it'll show you the 90th percentile price right now, median and 10th. It'll show you the vacant of the same. It'll show you again, the same percentiles for bids uh, and vacant bids. And it'll also show you utilization. The live utilization is right now, four by 4090s have about 33% utilization. 4090s as a whole have 44% utilization. Of four by 4090s, 48% are on bids right now, whereas all 4090s are on about 30%, 36% bids. Let's change that to one and show you how that changes. So right now, utilization for one buys is 60%. The rest of 4090s as a group is 44% and the bids as reflected for one buy. Again, prices reflect one buy here or four buy or eight buy and all those change. This here shows you the actual utilization history for this time frame. So for the past six hours, average on-demand utilization for eight buys is about 50%, but for the rest of 4090s, it's 47%. Ironically, as I make this video, this is the lowest utilization we've seen in about six months, but it's not really low utilization. There's a lot of machines entering the market, and a demand is still very strong. But just right now, it looks weaker than it normally is. And you'll see that when I show you the price performance of my machine and other machines like mine in the market. Okay, so let's just go back to one GPU. And again, this is the summary of that. It shows you the prices for bids, for on-demand, utilization, live, and just a quick summary of the historical, and then the breakdown of rented offers to vacant offers to bids. Now, let's move down. These are two of the most important uh, panels within this dashboard. First, it's price distribution. So I'm just gonna actually collapse this one to make it a little bit more readable. So right now, this is how prices are distributed uh, on VAST for one by 4090s. This is what it looks like for 3090. This is what it looks like for four by 3090. Let's switch back to 4090 though for our case. But I just wanna show you that it loads pretty quick and you can just select on demand any uh, combination you want, even verified, unverified, etc. Okay, so for one GPU, it looks like there's 200 rented offers at about 40 cents per GPU, 107 at 50, etc. And then this is basically all of the offers broken down and grouped together at specific prices. We also suggest some prices. And these are suggested prices that you could use for your rig, depending on your level of reliability. And we'll talk about that after. To the right here, this is actually where all the vacant prices are. So right now for one buys, let's just zoom into uh, this area here. For one buy, you can see that there's a lot of vacant prices around 50 cents. And that's why we, we, we recommend just below there for the high end at 49, sorry, at 40. Uh, eight, basically 49. And you, and you can basically see where everybody is sitting. Sorry, it just bounced back there. Um, just select that again. There you go. Right. So again, it shows you the price distribution and you can now change that to four by and eight by. Now, what's really good here is right now you can see 
for different combinations of GPUs where the prices really are. So let's have a look for one buy. Looks like the 90th is around 55 cents, medium's 43, and 10th is 40 cents. But if we take a look at price distribution, it looks like most people are renting at around 40 cents and around 50 cents. Now, if we change to four buy, you can see that that moves way up. So most offers are actually at 55 cents. And when we move to eight buy, most offers are actually at 65 cents. So you can see that the more GPUs you have per chassis, the average price moves up a little bit, but it takes its biggest jump at eight GPUs per offer. But this is not in any way telling you how you should build your rig, how you should price your rig, what offers you should do. I'm just telling you how to use Woven to maybe accomplish some of the goals you may have. All right, so now as we scroll down here for the price distribution, it actually shows you what machines have are rented and which ones are vacant. It shows you their vast score, which we'll talk about in a second, which is basically your auto sort placement. And it shows you all the specifics of the machine. You can sort by any one of these characteristics. So let's say I wanted to sort by uh, the number of cores. I could do that. And now I could look at prices for machines with the most cores, but that's not how you would do that. But because there's a better way to do that in the estimator. But my point is, if you are looking for a specific type of machine within this distribution in your analysis, it's all right here. Every machine that's currently rented for eight by is listed here. And every one that's vacant is here. And you'll see that, let's go back down to one GPU. You'll see that there's many machines that have, so even though this is one GPU per offer, You'll see this machine here has 14 GPUs and it has 14 rented offers. Whereas on this side, 7908 has one GPU and it has one vacant offer. Now let's, so this is basically gives you the snapshot of the marketplace and you can scroll down and you can also see a live map with all of that as well. So I'm now going to minimize the live information and let's show you historical. So I'm also going to, so I'm just going to show you what the different panels are, and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So right here for the past six hours, this is the rented and vacant offers. So right now there's 711 rented one by 4090 offers. This is how many bids there are. Oh, sorry, that's vacant 480. And this is bids 183 We And this is for the past six hours. You can change this to the past seven days. See how fast that loads now? We did a big data migration and a reorganization of the way we partition our tables. And now things that were taking like 10 or 15 seconds before are now instantaneous. And I can show you now, we can even go back down to six months and boom, there's six months for one buy, there's six months for four buy, there's six months for eight buy. And this is again, rented, vacant and bids. Now, as I zoom out, you can also get the information for utilization. Percentage utilization, again, can be for the past six hours. And it shows you eight by 4090, eight by bids, and bids for 4090 as a whole. And you see that trending here. And again, you can do that for the last six hours or you can do that for the last 90 days and it updates almost immediately. And again, you can do that for any GPU. So if we wanted to see that for, let's say one by 3090, let's go one by and let's go 3090 here. Boom, there it is for 3090. Okay, let's keep going. So basically what we have here is we have the volume which is the number of rented and vacant offers. You have the utilization. Let's zoom up. Let's zoom back in a bit. Sorry, 125. There you go. You have rented prices and you have vacant prices. And again, we can do that for any time frame and it loads 
immediately. Okay, so this is essentially the offers section that's broken down by GPU. This takes a couple seconds to load because it's the entire history. So again, let's go back down to 4090. And you'll see that updates as well. And there's all that data. So again, as a summary, you have a live view of all the pricing, the price distribution, the machines of that price distribution, where they are, historical pricing, historical utilization, and historical volume. Okay, so that's everything related to offers. Now let's have a look at machines.